I'm swapping out the receiver to something better and apparently with this one you can go four kilometers. The plan for this is pretty simple. I'm gonna stand somewhere around up there while controlling this RC car with this transmitter looking at this screen through this camera that will be attached on the car. I hope that makes sense. Okay, we have quite a few things going on here. There has been battery trays here before. They didn't fit my batteries, so I designed my own using TPU flexible filament, so hopefully they will be tough and durable. I have this old actuator uh, that I set up on this slider, so if you rotate the slider like this, you can see the actuator moving. And uh, I don't know what I will be using that for, but I guess I'll figure something out. I have another servo hooked up on the FPV camera, so when using this slider, you can see the FPV camera is, is panning left and right while you are driving, so that could be kind of useful, I guess, looking around like this. And I also made a FPV monitor mount for the transmitter. It is a bit flimsy, but I got, you know, I guess it will work for now. And uh, then lastly, we have this mystery box in front here. And if you push this switch, Oh, you can see the hatch opens. Oh, well, look at this, candy. That's just a fun thing. You know, driving around delivering candy for kids. As long as the police don't show up, I guess we'll be fine. Camera inception at its finest. All right, so I think we have made some great progress. I feel ready to head out and deliver some candy. Uh, I wanna show you the changes and upgrades that I've made so far. So obviously the candy hatch set up on this switch just to open and close to the goodness inside. The FPV camera, this was actually quite tricky to get right uh, because it would shake back and forth. I have that set up on this three-way switch just like this, so we can turn left and right. You can see the picture here. So that's gonna be very handy, I think. Could you guys please come up with a better name than FPV car? Comment down below, and if I see a name that I like, I'll pin that comment, yeah? All right, moving on. The FPV transmitter, I had to swap out from this one. Uh, I wasn't getting a good signal. It must be defective, I guess. So I swapped that out to a 600 milliwatt transmitter uh, that was overheating, so I installed a heatsink as well as a 5 volt fan. And talking about the 5 volt fan, let's take a look underneath. I have everything connected to this power distribution board. You might recognize it from, uh, from one of my drones that I use. And it's just perfect for these kind of uh, operations. So you have the main power from the battery going into these pads. And then you have all these other pads that also is 15 volts as well as the battery power. But you also have five and 12 volt pads right here and you can connect the fan, obviously, to the 5 volt port. And the 12 volt pads is connected to this device. And this is a multi switch, and it's really cool what you can do with this. So I have it hooked up to all these LEDs around the car. And by just using one channel on your transmitter and receiver, so by flipping the switch, I can have the LEDs light up in different sequences by rotating this little knob on the on the device so it's basically a very easily programmable sequenizer for leds and stuff and i have only used three out of seven ports so you could hook up motors more leds fans so it's just a great way of making things look way more advanced than it really is so that's what all this looks like and for the receiver in the back i made another tpu case to protect it from dirt i guess and uh, as you can see we only use a couple of those channels so you know, if this is a popular 
thing to do. Uh, there's literally a thousand other things we could add to this. And um, all I have to do now is attach a few cameras on the car. The GoPro obviously is gonna be on the pole like so to have a, a full view of the, of the car as well as the people that hopefully takes candy. Once that's done, uh, we can head out and uh, deliver some uh, candy. Eight hours later. All right, managed to climb all the way up on the roof without falling off. That's an achievement accomplished. I have video, I have radio control. All right, here we go. So I will have to aim the antennas towards the car. Otherwise I won't get a very good image. So the antennas are pointing this way and the car is over there. All right, let's go up this road here. I'll make sure to aim the antennas that way. Ah, the video is just terrible, can't see much. And that's what to be expected with 5.8 gigahertz. It's just not, it's not penetrating anything. And I can't see if a car is coming. The next day. All right, change of plans, 5.8 gigahertz is really not the way to go if you wanna do these kind of things, even though the range was moderately good. Um, it doesn't penetrate through houses or buildings or trees. Uh, you really need to go down to maybe 1.2 gigahertz uh, or even lower than that before you can really start to roam the place, uh, which I wasn't able to do. So I swapped location and hopefully we can drive around here and uh, find some people willing to take candy from a uh, RC car. Oh, by the way, let me show you this. Anyone with a RC car can testify to this. Body clips are like socks in the washing machine. You do not know where they go. Through the printhead works like a charm. 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 Let's head over to the pizza place. There's usually a couple of people over there. Turning the camera to check for cars. Taking one. He is actually taking one. <laughs> it worked. It actually worked. Hey, that's a hundred percent success rate so far. I'm happy with that. Oh, how about these people? Come on, take one. Please take one. Yes. <laughs> that is just too fun. That is just too fun. <laughs> Opening the hat. Come on. Come on. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, just for clarification, I knew that guy, so it wasn't too weird that I drove in there. Ah. 
Okay guys, I'll stop there and I appreciate you watching my videos and just take a second and like this video, it helps me out. So have an awesome day and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.